Hello, this is Ben at Harrison Consoles. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of Ripple Edit mode and some of the changes that we've made in version 2.2 with Ripple Edit. Now, I've got a piece of spoken word here. I'll play it real quickly. It may just look like a picture of a moon. And I want to get rid of some of these gaps. Uh, for example, when he says, in between where he says, uh, just and look, right here. It just look like a I don't like that gap. So the normal way without without ripple edit mode would be to uh, split the audio there, trim this piece back, and then move over and make a crossfade. It may just look like a picture of a moon. But we can do that a lot faster with ripple edit mode. So I'll switch to ripple edit. And I'm going to just cut out that piece of uh, silence there. I'll trim it and make sure that I'm cutting just silence. Yeah, just got silence there. So I'll hit the delete key. And now you notice that the, the audio to the right moved in to close the gap. It may just look like a picture of a moon. So that's a fast and easy way to do that. I could delete this gap if I wanted to. But really what I want to do is drop this piece into the gap. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to make us a, a, a little place to drop it into. And you'll notice that when I dropped in that new audio, the previously existing audio moved to the right. So I'm going to move that back. And I'll use my delete key with ripple mode to close the gap. Now you'll notice that this region that I've added is on top of the other two regions, which is great when you're doing a guitar overdub or a vocal overdub, but that's not what we're doing right now. Uh, I'm working on linear dialogue uh, audio here, so I found it works a lot better if you switch your layering mode to automatic. And when I make edits in automatic, then the topmost layer, uh, there, excuse me, the later in time layers are always on top. So when I drag this on top of the, uh, the previous region, I can now easily see the incoming audio and I can make a crossfade and I can close this gap. And you'll notice when I drag that over that the following regions followed it. I'm going to trim that up and make a little crossfade. So now I've got a tight piece of dialogue. It may just look like a picture of a moon, which it is, but it's much better than you think. So those are some of the cool features that you can do. You can do some really fast editing with Ripple Edit. Uh, we did make some changes in the past. If you wanted to trim a region, then the, when you made the trim, it would ripple to the right so that that gap would be closed. But really, when you're making uh, when you're making trims like that and crossfades, you don't want those changes to ripple. Because that's some of the workflow changes that we've made in recent versions. But uh, we still have the basic operation. You can grab across a row of audio, delete it, and close the gap. And we're always open to workflow improvements. Please send us your ideas, and we'll continue to implement them. Thanks for watching.